Welcome to Yorkshire Man Models. Today we're going to be unboxing the Galeri, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Ace Series. Didn't show you a tick there, Ace New Airbrush. They've sent me this for free and asked me just to do an unboxing night, so I've agreed to do it. It's 0 0.38 to 0 0.5 millimeter, which meh, for model making, which is our main thing. 0 0.5 is fantastic to put uh, your, your main paints down, your primers and stuff like that. But normally I prefer a 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 at maximum. So we'll have to see how this goes with a, it's a 0 0.38. See whether you're still going to get that kind of tiny fine detail that you, you like. or Well, I like anyway. But us modellers like when we're doing a certain models. It says it's dual action, which is everybody wants dual action these days. It's the only way to go with them. It saves hearing noise all day long from compressor. But it says excellent atomization effect with low pressure. Removable material pot. Drop in self centering nozzle reduces the possibility of nozzle clogged, which hopefully that's, that's going to be nice and handy because. There's nothing worse than when you're cleaning the tip out because it's clogged up the nozzle. An extremely polished pot, easy to clean. We'll see about that because I've uh, had so-called polished pots before on uh, airbrushes and they're about as polished as my boats are, my work boats. And I work on a building site. Anyway, we'll go on. This one says it does fine and medium, so you're going to probably be able to get the extreme detail. So that's more I would say you're going to want some of that but you don't need one for blasting down anyway your, your major paint coat so we'll see how it goes for this as it is there's nothing else on the box just your barcode and just your brand name I'm just telling you it's a gravity fed airbrush and where to find them their twitter page and address as well there so let's get this unboxed let's see what we've got Right, got a knife. It's a QC pass sticker there. Get rid of that. Box is normal, nice. Reminds me of the Iwata ones where they come in a nice box like this and a sleeve. And we've got, oh, we've got a nice detail in here showing you the full build of the actual. Uh, Airbrush. So this where you can take parts, pieces apart and you can actually see what each one goes where does. Fantastic. Brilliant idea that. It's in box, stuck in there so you're not going to lose it. Great, great idea that. We've got a um, test sample. Big, down to fine. Yeah, definitely does fine. And that one. That's if this is, you know what I mean? But if that's the case, I'd have said that's about the better one. That looks a little bit fady, but that's definitely well. That's fantastic. And that for when you're blasting down loads, you can expect. We've got a little leaflet. Or instructions. Yep, deep cleaning. Explains to be careful. Where to add lube. And a quick start guide. And what we've got in the middle. And he's spraying it, telling you how you spray. This is a, this this is really good actually, to be honest, because you don't normally get a decent instruction manual like that. So it's as if they all presume you all know how to use airbrushes. Bit of foam cloth for to protect, and now we can see into the gummings. We've got, by the looks of it, some extra. It looks like PTFE washes, or you call them, a couple of normal rubber washes. Very handy to have them spare. Very very handy. I'll go for airbrush itself first. Yeah, I'll use this to. That's it. And the airbrush itself. Nice weight. Heavy ish. Nice seal there with that. Rather than a rubber one. So I think they're called PTFE. I'm sure they are. We've got connector for. Straight to the uh, hose. As you can see there. So this is one I use regular the Iwata but straight off straight on fantastic nice that you get that always comes in handy I have got spares of them because I bought a set of them so but yeah 
feels a nice weight. Rear unscrews, and then it gives you access straight into that, which is for your needle. Have a look at the needle. Oh yeah, that's a nice needle. And it's supposedly, and I've heard that you can bend them a bit. Oh yeah, so we take a bit of flex. Not bad at all. That lovely, nice tip on that. I would advise smoothing it off some more although it feels really really nice that but you can smooth it off some more with some uh, like Tamiya uh, fine fine or finishing polish and you just give it a gentle rub right tip you don't have to do all that needle it's just the tip it's only the tip what you need to work out uh, work on for that just put that back in there just make sure that back one goes in right there yeah. Trigger feels nice, and that one's screwing up lovely, and stopping it dead. Yeah, that feels lovely. Let's have a look at this. You've got your normal uh, tip there, or nozzle protector. Very basic, it's just like your ones you get on most of us. Like. So, not as big, but that's an eyewater one, but you can see. Put that back on because I don't want to damage tip so easy. So, take that off and we'll see what we've got inside. Inside there is the new, supposedly, Type O nozzle. Let's grab that so I can grab it out. There. So rather than having the needle, to, well, the, the actual nozzle where you screw it in, I, tend to, I have broken in the past, there's no doubts about it. It's a bigger one, like that, but it's one piece. But supposedly, and I'm just going to put it like that so I can just hold it for you. You can see it's gotten little ridges around there. Supposedly to let the air or paint, whichever it is, I don't know, I couldn't tell you, but it even lets it flow. And that flows through there, obviously onto the tip, oof, blast it out. It is meant to be very good. It's a new type of design, supposedly, but yeah, it's the first time I've seen one anyway like that. And it, it does look well. Definitely makes a change to the uh, watch me break them jobby when I'm trying to screw them in. And I only do them on tight now, I never do them in the... Uh, Normal ones like me, me eye waters and that. Never ever do them with uh, pliers or out like that. It's a disaster. I've broken doing it. Liquid cup to protect end. We've got, when I get her out, just give us them again. Very nice case. The cup. Is it a screw or a. I have no idea. It's not coming off, whichever it is. Oh, it's just a push off there. No wonder. Oh, ah, that is polished. Oh, oh, that's baby smooth. I'll give them that. That is polished. Not that they stay polished like that forever, because once you start getting in when you're cleaning them out, they end up getting scratched. But yeah, that's lovely. That 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 sits on there, lovely. That. It's a cracker. That. So, we'll assembler up. Which is now ready to go. You've got tube of lube for it so that uh, you can, when you clean it, give it a good old uh, lubing air as it's telling it tells you on instructions. Another needle and end cap in there, you just see. And I presume this is the five that's in there, I presume. So, does tell you, Galeri Ace GHAC-98 Jewel. So let's get some paint, let's get trying it and let's see how good it, it is. I'll also look up and I'll tell you how much this airbrush is to buy. Right, I've mixed up 
some Tamiya flat black and a bit of Mr. Colour Level of Finna 400. It's my favourite Finna for Tamiya uh, acrylic paints. Well, supposedly acrylic, but you know what I mean. For them, and I find this is what a lot of people turn to Tamiya for spraying because they do spray really nice. So I'll try it with this because it's a, a favourite. Another thing, the airbrush is £70.61p on Amazon at the minute. Now, I know that ain't cheap cheap. It ain't a super cheap airbrush, but that at the minute is the cheapest I've found it. But there ain't a lot of sellers, so as they become more popular, they might get cheaper. So first off, got a sheet of paper, and we'll just test her. This is the point three eight, by the way, innit? I've got her opened up, so we'll test her to see what she's like when she's spraying out as a normal. And she comes out lovely, control wise. To thicker, to thinner, to thicker. And that's the most. And that's spraying really nice. You can see, I've got about 20, 18, 20 psi, what I normally spray it. And if this were a model, I'd be very happy with that. But on paper's one thing, but I've got plastic spoon. So we'll try it out, we'll give it a complete blast over with a plastic spoon and see how she sits. And you get thicker. Actually, this is a beautiful spray. As you can see there, absolutely beautiful. A bit more there, I don't think I got right to the tip, but there. That's, that's cracking that. Really is. Really, really good spray. Yeah. You won't ever complain at that. That is brill. Really, really is brill that. I'll be honest with you. Well, turn it down. Much as I can. I'm not going to mess with air, uh, my compressor. It's a shame it ain't got one of them where you can tweak it a bit, but you can get them to fit to these nozzles where you can actually turn it up and down the amount of air that's coming in. But we'll do it with the actual. It's splattered there. That's because I should take the knee, uh, the cap off. Right. Let's turn it down a bit more. It's not bad. You can see there, it's not bad. But if you can see, there's a very faint amount of overspray where it's splattering. Now, I'm struggling without messing with my airbrush to get that turned down a lot more than that. That's not coming out paint. Again, nothing. And it's coming out now. Man. I can't get it any finer than that. That is as fine as it goes, and it is, it's foot money, I'll tell you now, this is good. But you can see, and it's hard to see because it's not a lot, it really is not a lot. But you can see the faint splatter over spray. Now, if you thin your paint down more, you're not going to get that as much. But as a overall, I mean, I've gone from this is with a like I say the point three eight, the point five. I don't think you're ever going to get this kind of detail with a point five. But you can go from spraying like that when you open her up to minute. But like that, you see, you can really open it up to, to spray a kit, or you can do fine. And I'll just show you, and when to imagine I'm trying to paint the dot camouflage on a, say, a German aircraft in the Second World War. And 
when you're trying to paint dot camouflage the last thing you want is this overspray so turn it down make sure that tip's clean it's drying up a bit on it just one second yeah it is oh there you go so you're going to do dot camouflage so on dot camouflage what thing is this you'd be like that you see what I mean and this is not the worst I just think it's if I turn my compressor down yes I would probably get away with it but I think it's because it's not the 0 0.5 As you can see, you're getting your dots. There's no fear on that, but if you were doing this on the 148 scale aircraft, you would not want these tiny dots on outer edges like that. It's not too bad, but that one's bad. You're always going to get that little bit of overspray, but £70, is it worth it? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. It's, it's a good enough airbrush It's for spraying like this. What I need to see now is what's it like for cleaning. So, I've shown you what it's like for spraying. The spray's absolutely brilliant. What's she going to be like for cleaning though? That's the thing. I mean, you could imagine putting this down on a model car and you can see here the, the distance I'm working. I'm not, not here. I'm up. Two, three centimeters away. Over blasting a bit because I I'm just chucking a job. But even so, painting, painting it down recently. A bit too much paint I'm throwing down, but hey, still coming out quite decent. That though needs to dry, but it does. Sprays well. Not, not clogged once there, if anybody's noticed. It's not blocked up, I've not had to clean it out. Sprayed each time. Lovely. So, we'll get the paint out, and then I'll show you my process of cleaning it up. We'll see how quick it cleans up compared to normal ones. Back in a sec. Right, my cleaning process. I use Mr. Tool Cleaner. There. But I keep it in a little dropper bottle so I'm not over flooding using it because it's expensive this right. the next one is I have some uh, IPA isopropyl alcohol in this and I use this for when I'm rinsing out getting out the gunk stuff like that works really well my first off first thing I always do when I'm coming to clean an airbrush clean right cut with a towel and then I'll just pop the towel in there Give it a quick wipe round. Get rid of most of that crap part of there. Right, that's more street gun. See? And then I'll get, I've got an old brush, where are you? She's knocking about, so there she is. Old brush. And I get some of my Mr. Tool Cleaner in. That's enough. Give the cup a swill around. Got some crap off of me. Brush already on here still. The gate out. There it is. Just seen it come off at brush. It's because I've not cleaned my brush properly after. Anyway, there you go. So I've given that a swill around, everything seems fine. Nip the tip. That's it. And then I'll just blast that through there. I'll do a couple more drops of that. Give that another swirl around. Pass that through there. And last but least, a bit of that in. To wrap here and get a little thingy. 
and I'm not even blasting that out, oh that's better, there you go. Right, so get my kitchen towel again and I'll just wipe off, make sure there's no paint or out hanging about anywhere there like that. Off of the tip, make sure there's no left around on it. Now we can see how good is she for cleaning. I'll clean that cup in a minute. Top anyway. So we'll take off. We'll see what's on the needle. It's a little, is it? Or is it just the needle itself? If there is, it's a tiny amount on that needle there. Put that there. And clean off this one. And we'll get that out of there. This is about as much as you clean, you know what I mean? See, there's probably a little bit of residue there, but that's where it's been screwed in. And you're never going to get that out until you take them out like that. Nothing in there. Tiny bit of residue where it's being screwed to it. That is pretty damn good. That would be ready for reusing nearly straight away, that. Let's get that back into there. That's it. Literally is. That's as quick as you can... That is really quick for cleaning an airbrush out. Sorry about the noise. But there you go. Sorry about that. It put me next to a neighbour's kids out shouting right put my needle back in feels a nice tight fit so hopefully you won't really get any paint coming back you shouldn't be getting paint coming back but I have known it on some airbrushes a little drop more of that just to make sure any gunk comes out I'll do it on here and you can see it's near enough clean that And that is perfectly clean now, look. Yeah, it's a, it's a good little airbrush. Is it worth £70? Well, if, it's, if you're going to start airbrushing and you want, you want to enter with an airbrush that's not cheap, because there's some cheap ones about, I've, I've uh, done videos on them and you've seen them, and some of them, I'll be honest with you, I don't think they're going to last more than about six months a year and they start falling apart the rubbers start breaking down and stuck the seals in them they end up becoming a pain now this don't feel like that this feels like a really quality airbrush and for 70 quid i am not joking you when i say you look at these two here the ps 270 now this goes down to 0 0.2 but you, you feel the weights of them if you, if you think they're near enough the same weight. I mean, you look at the the finish on them, they're fantastic. It's a lovely, nice, f finished airbrush. How long it'll last like that, I do not know. I've not used it for a long period. But yeah, it's, it's good enough that I'm going to try this now with a kit. I'm going to build a kit and I'm going to spray it. So keep your eye out on my channel you should be able to see me build one with this airbrush and you'll see how good I can make a model kit look using this airbrush anyway thanks a lot for watching hope you've enjoyed the video hope it's either helped push you towards getting one of these or if, if it's put you off it well yeah but at least you've got some idea of what they are now and you know what you're looking at and I'll catch you all later. Thanks a lot for watching.